Hey everyone and welcome to the Restitch February Recapped. It has been a hot second and this is old news now, I guess, but here we are. With the sort of latest news on Restitch for February, so let us get into it. Recently, Trixel has pushed out a new internal Steam build for the game. This is the first substantial update they've put out since the reveal trailer premiered last year. These builds are for developers like artists who don't use the Unity engine, but this does show some more game progress, with another build finally being updated on Steam. Also, as some may know, the lead programmer of the game, Michael, has a rare genetic disorder that renders him legally blind and he's been waiting a long time to be accepted into clinical trials that would potentially preserve his vision for a lot longer. And this month, he will finally be accepted to surgery, the month of February that is. This is most likely going up after the surgery happens, but I wish the best for him going forward. Everyone at Trixel is excited that he's finally being accepted and wish him the best. This will most likely see a temporary slowdown of progress in the programming side as he recovers, but he will not return until he is completely ready and no sooner. Hopefully everything goes well for you, man. Good luck. Alright, back to the research game news. Here we have some more amazing models. These are improvements of textures and some older props such as the kerosene lantern, and here are several key models as well, which all look really, really cool. Especially the colored ones that have such unique shapes, while the gray one just looks like the key I have for my dorm. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought I showed a lot of textures last time, but in this image there are 26 whole new textures. There aren't any names, but all these just look amazing, man, Jesus. Any building ideas coming to mind when you see this? <laughs> I'm not much of a builder myself, but definitely having a variety of choices is great. And also right below, we see some of the props from the January recap being imported into the game. Also here, the male bear man concept is shown off, though he's finally getting a new job. And also some touch-ups in the outfits page, now allows devs to set custom icons in place of the auto-generated stuffy images, helpful in showing their original outfits. For the builders out there, progress is being made in the editing menu of the level editor, making certain things like multi-select light color switching. The editor notes features coming along. It can contain such things as reminders, instructions, and checklists anywhere within the levels. Stuffy has the ability to seamlessly move through the scene, even though research is mostly based on 2D physics interactions. Stuffy is treated as a 3D entity for ease of travel, but of course comes with some challenges, like the issue of knowing where exactly you stand in 3D space with a 2.5D camera. But as shown here, they are working on drop shadows in an effort to combat this issue, hopefully getting closer to fixing the issue of knowing where the character is is in 3D space. New animations here are Stubby sideways climbing on a wall, showing off an interesting game mechanic here, as well as Stubby holding out the needle when approaching something that is interactive, such as throwable props or building materials, essentially when Stubby gets near something that is grabbable. While testing out the latest Steam build on February 20th, this lovely scene was created to experiment with the level editor and Stubby themselves. The next day saw work on the pulling mechanic for the needle and thread, the grabbing mechanic mentioned before. This will work somewhat like a grappling hook of sorts, with the needle and thread Stubby interacts with materials from a distance. And that is all for the February recap. I know I'm extremely behind on these right now, but I will do my best to keep up with the news. School starts again in about a month, and I'm back to my dorm. It's been a busy time, but I haven't forgotten about this game and the series, don't you worry. There will be more soon for sure, hopefully sooner than later. See you all then. Hope you enjoyed this recap. If you did enjoy, please subscribe to keep up with the research news. See you soon.